to Alex Dimitriades on race fashion and the man with all the big questions, Jules Lund, joins in the fun. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to morning. Oh, you know, we couldn't come to Melbourne without uh, showcasing fabulous fashion. And I was talking to John so before. I mean, fashion capital. Great shopping in Melbourne. Uh, and, of course, maybe a little cold every once in a while, but I tell you, Melbourne swimwear is hot right now. Flamingo Sands, one of the most glamorous brands to come out of this country, making a huge splash overseas. So we're absolutely delighted to have one of the founding designers, Nikki Rousel, with us. Good morning, Nikki. Thank you. Your stuff has taken the world by storm. Uh, tell me the celebrities. Uh, Paris Hilton, who have been wearing this? Paris Hilton, Vicky Hilton, Kimberly Stewart, um, Misha Barton, Kate Moss recently. We got some gear too. Um, so we've recently returned from a trip to LA and New York and met up with Rachel Zoe's agent, who's a celebrity in her own mm -hmm. right now. She's a celebrity stylist. Mm -hmm. um, and fed her some stuff and she's been giving it to her celebrity clientele and and it's taken off. Wow, because, you know, I know we've got some pictures of these stunning people and you know, just getting that degree and that echelon of celebrity. Do you, um, do you actually make anything for anybody over a size zero, though? Um, <laughs> no, we go up Like to for the real world. And Kate Moss, come on, what size is she? She's... Zero minus? <laughs> no, she's an eight. She, or our, in our, she's an eight. eight. I, so you, so how do you um, do your sizings? Because, see, I'm one of those girls that thinks, if I think it's a size 10, I feel much better. But I know it's a size 14. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go, our sizes go from extra small, which is an 8, up to a 14. Oh, so extra small is 8. eight. I knew it. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let us see some of the beautiful designs uh, sure. for Nick in Flamingo Sands. Um, I know accessories are big, prints. Um, and I love the cover-up. So just walk us through this. Um, this year Flamingo Sands has done florals, animal prints, um, batik. This one's obviously a floral. It's a halter neck bikini mm -hmm. with a, a ruffle um, caftan. Um, it, this one accentuates a great bust line. Mm -hmm. um, I love the frill. So having a frill like that, uh, if you have a small bust... It just adds a bit more dimension and interest mm -hmm. to the cleavage. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just a sexy style. Yeah. And I love the fact that you do have the matching um, um, shirt, the caftan. Yeah, caftan. That is terrific. Yeah, no, it looks great on Anna Maria. Mm. Uh, so florals this year big? Florals are always big in summer. Animal prints are always a winner. Mm -hmm. um, she did animal print things just for 10 years. It's never I know, gone away. Isn't it's, it great? It's not gone away. So it's good as a design. You can just roll, <laughs> roll it out every year and it's a winner. Um, this is a batik print. Um, what do you mean by batik? Batik in the design of the print. Okay. Um, it's a bit Balinese. Yeah. It's got a double strap bikini top. Um, and we've all matched our shoes today with an Italian designer called Nando Muzzi. Mm -hmm. He's been kindly donated these shoes from Louisa. I love the, sh the shiny fabric. You yeah. Know how, how it's got the sheen. That's a micro sequin on the back. A um, micro sequin, okay. Yeah, micro sequin print. This is that is, hard this, to do in bikinis? Um, it's a special. We we import our fabrics from Spain, so we get mm -hmm. them in especially. So it's this is something. It, this was a great style, and that is all in micro sequin. Mm -hmm. I um I loved when I was reading uh, about your company last night, saying you design um, bikinis and swimwear for people who drink champagne on yachts. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was liking that. I'm sorry. Don't um, shoot me. I guess our swimwear is, it's not a, it's not a beach label. It's, it's for ladies that like to kick back with a champagne on a yacht and oh, in Saint-Tropez. Yeah. It's all That's about... Right. They don't go near the water. No. Because their <laughs> hair might get wet. But it's, it's fun in the sun. Hey, that's an interesting design on the, um, on, on the, on bottom. the, the bottom. Yeah, it, I guess it, it hides the bit of pudding in the winter months. But, what um, pudding? <laughs> You, you tie it around and it, it hides it's not the strap. Hard. Can I tell you, it's not hiding a lot of pudding because there's none there. <laughs> and anybody with pudding, it's still not going to hide it. Look, I'm trying to run with you here, Nikki. Well, but you know let's what get I mean. real. That, that bit that sometimes hangs over. The muffin? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> so this is a beautiful floral print that, um, that looks great in this bikini. Mm. Um, this is just our standard cut. We, we do a European fit, which is not a Brazilian and it's not an Australian fit. It's slightly briefer on the bum, so, so just it's a bit cheeky. As a yeah, designer, explain the difference between European, Brazilian and Australian. 
and okay. it's the leg cut. Correct? No, it's the no? it's the coverage on your your backside. Oh. Yeah. So a Brazilian fit is pretty much nearly the same dimension as the front. Oh. It's about that much. How nice. The Australian. Oh, is that where the Brazilian? Th <laughs> oh, okay. Let's not from. go there. <laughs> uh, now, okay, it's coming to me now. And um, we wear somewhere in between an, a normal Australian and a Brazilian, so it's just a bit cheeky. Okay. Bit and the European is much bigger. It. This is. It's. Slight, about three centimetres either side. See, you've <laughs> learned something this morning, ladies. So this um, this is a, a winning style for us. Um, it's done well for us overseas. It's called the Luxor style in a beautiful mm. animal print. Um, and it's it's the flavour of the minute with the cut-out one-piece that yeah. shows as much as a bikini, but it's called a one-piece. It's, it's, it's quite sexy. great design and gives you a really funny tan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's for the yacht. Absolutely. Great accessories. Yeah, we, we, Love did the a, hat. we did a few totes this year, a few hats with scarves. This one's um, a great ruched bikini. You can wear it kind of pushed a bit down or it's, you know, for a lady that likes to cover up a bit more. And this is our animal, another animal print that we've done. And I like the mix and match with that hat so you put the scarf over something like that because yeah. it's a really different fabric. Yeah, exactly. You can take it out and put an, another, your own scarf in there if you like. Mm -hmm. Now, as, as an Australian designer, you only launched this two years ago at Mercedes Fashion Week in yeah, Sydney. Yeah, in 2004 we Out launched. of the blue, you were in marketing and fashion before that. Yep. And and what a fantastically successful leap. We've um, we've done quite well in a, well, it. Well, it feels like it's been two years, but it feels like it's been a lifetime. So we've it's a lot of hard work. You, we've been trying to get it in front of the right people, the right stylists. Managed to do that. So we've been um, picked up by the best boutiques in Australia, and David Jones is selling it in Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, and again, this is a great shiny fabric, that's the, the micro, micro sequin. sequin. Yeah. Is it tough trying to source um, fabrics? Yeah, it's 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 tough trying to make an impact and stand out. So mm. that is a lot of our design is trying to um, source great fabrics and yeah. designs. Well listen, huge congratulations. Um, so impressed and you know we love a great success story and continued success Thank to you. you. Hope it just absolutely floods the rest of the world. Aussie swimwear deserves to and you do too. Thank you very much. Flamingo Sands, Nikki Rousel. Okay, Jamie, I just always get terrified. Where are you wandering now? No, something pretty normal this time, but a great piece of history. Remember the picture I just showed you in the hallway yeah. before, going back to the Graham Kennedy show? This is the old Edwardian King's outfit that actually wore for that picture and for so many of those great skits. Brilliant, huh? Around about 40 years old. Still looks good. If you can't remember exactly what it used to look like on the show, have a look at this. We'll show you a little bit of vision of the show. <laughs> Takes you back a bit, huh? It does. Amazing, hey? And not only... Have I got the amazing King's outfit, but I've also got the King's throne. Have a quick look first before I sit down oh. on it. Beautiful. I love wow. that. Can, can you just bring that in here? Yeah, shall I bring that in, in for you? <laughs> I can't fancy top? that. You, you just bring it on here. <laughs> You're used to sitting on a throne. Okay, come on. Oh, well, I mean, this is beautiful. We've got some great stuff coming up on the show. Trivia is coming up later on. We've got a great crew on the panel. Wait till you see them. But straight after the break, tackling a tough one for a lot of guys, depression. Look like we're